AT News is working to learn more about this case for you, but wanted to take a step back to look at the legal ramifications for the officer that he could be facing. For this, we're turning to Matthew Bazzetti from the Bazzetti Law Office, who joins us live over Zoom this afternoon. Thanks for talking with us this afternoon, Matt. Oh, anytime. Thanks for having me. Well, our first question this afternoon is what legal ramifications could Officer Gozer be facing? We know he was suspended, but could anything further happen? So normally with a police officer in a situation such as this, uh, their contract or their collective bargaining agreement would control. If the officer is still in a probationary period, if he's a brand new officer, he could immediately be fired. Uh, they could file uh, disciplinary charges uh, and actually hold a hearing seeking uh, termination. So I don't think that it's going to stop. Uh, it's just a suspension. Okay, and our second question is, the officer was seen in the video saying he would file a grievance if he were to lose his job for filming himself at work. How would this work, and would there be anything backing it? So a grievance procedure is something that a union or collective bargaining agreement employee has the ability to do to say uh, that the action by the employer, so in this case the, the borough police department, uh, has grieved him in some way, has, has uh, harmed him. Uh, for lack of a better term, uh, and, and that, that's against a contractual right he would have as an actual employee. If there's anything to it, probably not. I handled grievances for the city of Elmira Police Department for a very long time uh, when I was the assistant city attorney, and something like this probably goes against their code of conduct with the type of language uh, that was involved and utilizing the cell phone lines at work. Okay, and our final question for today is about the other people the officer has um, was live streaming as he was arresting them and taking into custody. Is there anything for people to do in that department or the Officer Gosart himself? Would this be open to anyone who he has arrested in the past to come forward and file a claim? Uh, that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, it depends on if they have body cameras or not. Uh, if it's already being recorded, there might be some. It really depends on how that video is uploaded and what information is actually shared. Uh, you know, is the person's face blurred out? I know it was blurred out in the news, uh, news segment. However, I'm going to guess that when it was uploaded to Snapchat, it wasn't blurred out. Um, so there could be some type of liability and it could result in going back and looking at other arrests and, and seeing what else this officer had done. Um, and it could open up the door to more liability in the end. All right. Thank you so much. That's thank you so much, Matt. That's unfortunately all the time we have for this afternoon. And thank you so much for joining us today. 18 News first reported the story on our website, and we are continuing to update it as more information becomes available. The full story and video can be found on our website at mytwintiers.com.